hi welcome to this excel video tutorial in this video i'm gonna show you how to create a linear equation graph in excel however before we proceed i'm gonna encourage you to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to be notified of new videos so let's see our two linear equations we have this y equals to 3x plus minus 15 and y equals to minus 4x plus 7. Now this 3 represents the m which is the slope of the equation line and the 15 is just a constant. The x and the y represent the coordinates of the x and y axis respectively. So the slope of the equation line is equal to the ratio of change in the y and the x coordinate respectively so let's see how we can compute this on excel and create a meaningful linear equation graph using this character chart in excel so we have this simple x1 y1 and y2 now this is going to be for my x axis and the y axis now because we have two equations so we have y1 and y2 now for my x i just need numbers between 0 and let's say 14 now because i'm using office 365 m365 rather so i have the dynamic array sequence function so i can actually do equal sign sequence press my tab key now the sequence requires a single input value or argument which is the number of rows so for this i said i'm going to i'm just going to put in 15 as my rows close the parentheses and put in minus one so that i can actually start from zero to 14 so i can do control enter so we have numbers between zero to 14 however if you do not have the m365 sequence function dynamic arrays function you can actually do e zero control enter and just Use the autofill this black cross drag down okay and then click on this autofill options and choose fill series so you're going to get exactly what i've just done here so i'm going to just clear this now we have done for the x1 so for the y1 we just need to go ahead and represent what we have here in our formula so i'm going to do equal sign now i'm just going to type in three then times the value of this x so it's going to be the value sitting in cell a4 so use my times or the multiplication sign and i reference the value in cell a4 which is representing x minus 15 which is the constant so control enter now this gave us minus 15 so use the autofill and fill down the results so for the y2 which is the second linear equation equal sign again we actually want to reference the value pointed to x so it's going to be minus 4 which is this minus 4 which is the m the slope of the line times the value of x which is sitting in cell a4 plus 7 control enter and i copy down the formula with the auto fill so this is just going to be our table which we need to visualize in our chart so i'm going to just create a blank chart by coming to the insert tab of the ribbon in the charts group we have the scatter chart in this insert scatter chart okay so I click on this now i actually want this scatter with straight and marker okay so i click on this so let me just you know expand this and let me just um, collapse the ribbon for now okay so that i can visualize it more better now let's go ahead and insert our data so i'm going to come to the chart design contextual ribbon tab and then we have in the data group click on select data so for my legend entry series i click on this plus sign and for my series name i'm just going to reference this equation sitting in cell in this collapse cell a1 and b1 so i click on this and for my series x value i'm going to just do ctrl shift down arrow key and for my series y value i'm going to get rid of this and select the value computed value for my y1 and click on ok 
so i'm gonna just click ok for now so we have this straight line okay so again we'll do the same thing click on chart design select zero and click on add and for this series name reference what we have in cell c1 and for the x so this x value again this remains the same and for my series y value i want to represent what we computed for y2 and i click on ok and finally i click on ok boom so we can actually see that the interception occurred exactly in point three between two and four in the x axis and between zero and minus 10 on the y axis so this is how we create a linear equation graph in excel so this is where the point of interception which is of course now let me just show you clearly so this is going to be 3 minus 5 so this is where it occurred okay so this is how we create linear equation graph in excel i hope you enjoyed it and you've learned something new if you do remember to subscribe share with your friends and give thumbs up because there is a lot to come bye for now cheers